think this is uh, 4.6 trapezoid rule uh, selected homework page 314 I'm just going to go over three problems here, 9, 13, 17. So approximate the definite integral using trapezoidal rule with n equals 4. So um, this is simply the function that we're using. Um, the up lower bound is 1, the upper bound is 2, so my width is simply going to be b minus a over n. My n value is 4, so 1 fourth. Okay. Uh, because um, we are using width of or base of uh, the same value, we can use this formula here. Okay, so it's width over 2 times, and um, uh, we talked about before how every height gets shared in between except for the end ones, where we only use one. So, um, so rather than finding each of the areas of the area of trapezoid separately, we can use this formula here. Okay. Um, so 2h sub 2, 2h sub 3, all the heights in the middle gets doubled except for the ones at the end. Okay, so since our width is 1 fourth, um, we need to find the intervals to plug in. So we don't, we don't have to sketch the graph, but all we need to do is um, just to sketch our endpoint and just so see if we can step through each of the intervals so we know what to plug in. So we're starting off with uh, left bound of 1 okay. and we're going to be incrementing by width of 1 fourth. So 1 plus 1 fourth is 5 fourths plus 1 fourth is 6 fourths plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth is 2. So these are the values we'll be using. Plug into our formula. Width is 1 fourth divided by 2 or same thing as 1 fourth times 1 half and then we just plug into our formula here f of 1. f of 1 is going to be my uh, first height f of 5 fourths is my second height, but we're going to be doubling it, so 2 times f of 5 fourths. f of 6 fourths, we're going to be doubling this as well, it's, it's a height that's in the middle. f of 7 fourths, and finally f of 2. And all this you can plug in your calculator, and you're going to get values that you can just combine and multiply through with 1 eighth, and you're going to get 0.1676. Okay. Very similar fashion with 13. Left bound is 0, upper bound is 1, so width is 1 minus 0 over 4, or 1 fourth. Starting at our left end point, we want to figure out each of the intervals. So uh, starting at 0, which is our left end point, we're going to keep adding 1 fourth. So 0 plus 1 fourth is 1 fourth, plus 1 fourth is 1 half, plus 1 fourth, 3 fourths, plus 1 fourth, we get 1. Okay. Again, width is 1 fourth, uh, divided by 2, or same thing as multiplied by 1 half, and then just like before, starting at f of 0, and then we're going to be doubling each of the heights in between, and then the end, the right end point, we're going to be using 1, so f of 1. Okay. All this plug in your calculator, you're going to get an approximation of 0.342 using 4 trapezoid. Okay. Finally, 17. Left end point is 1, right end point is 1.1, our function is sine of x squared. Our width is b minus a over n, so 1.1 minus 1 is 0 0.1. 0 0.1 divided by 4 is 1 over 40th, 1 over 40. So starting at our left end point, we're going to increment by 1 over 40, er, or 1 over 40 reduces to be fractionally, can be 0 0.025. So you're adding 0 0.025 every time to each interval, to each term, and you're going to get 0 1.025 plus 0 0.025, you get 1.05 plus um, 0 0.1 0 0.025, you get 1.075, and finally, um, you should get um, the right endpoint of 1.1. Okay. Our width is 1 over 40 times 1 half, that's part of the formula, and then we're going to step through and use the endpoint once, but then all the ones in the middle. We're going to uh, double it since um, these are all going to be shared in two choice. Okay. Plug all this in the calculator. Plug um, all these into our function, sine of x squared. And I didn't show the work here, but all this will just combine to be a decimal value of 0 0.089.